this painting, uh, the title of which is uh, The Nativity of Lawrence and Lux, uh, has many threads for my father. Uh, it is first a memory painting of a, a very happy experience for him, contributing to the Christmas traditions of the Feininger family. Uh, and then beyond that, it was a connection to uh, myself. Uh, I presented him with a photo of the d nativity display, and he then uh, turned uh, that into a, a woodblock Christmas card. And uh, then this painting is a pantographic enlargement of this woodcut. Uh, so his technique is, is exposed uh, through uh, this painting. Uh, and, and how it came to be. Uh, and within that, uh, there is the image from his father's Christmas traditions of the devil, uh, which is in the corner of the painting. The tradition was that it was hidden uh, in, the, in the tree and whoever found it would have good luck in the next year. Uh, so there was always a contest among my brothers and myself to see who could discover it first uh, in the tree. Uh, and I'm not sure if this is a genuine tradition, but it's a, a finding or family tradition. Christmas was the most important holiday in the finding or family. Uh, my grandfather uh, waited all year for it, and uh, at the very end of his life, he lamented that in his last year there was no Christmas. Uh, he, he was uh, aware of the tradition enough to know its passing. Uh, he made a whole series of ornaments that they used on their tree uh, for many years, of which the devil is only one, uh, in, including two that my mother didn't care for, uh, the images of two soldiers that were billeted in their house during the First World War. Uh, but all of these things factored into his thinking, uh, and it became for us uh, a, a great joy to see these, these uh, uh, ornaments every year uh, come out. But we had a rigid Christmas tradition in my family. The, the tree did not go up until the 24th of December and stayed up for 12 days until the Epiphany and then it came down again. These geometric images uh, have a direct correlation uh, to his psychology. Uh, this began uh, in the aftermath of the death of his first wife when he has written and said that he thought painting was over for him. Uh, and so this was a, a middle ground uh, between what he had been before and what he became later in the 1960s. This painting uh, that we show is uh, very much uh, out of the, the period of, of stencil painting and pantographic enlargements. Uh, it, not free form as his earlier work had been and, and not cubist abstract or, or uh, magic realism or however you want to describe his early work. Uh, it's a, a good first exposure to Lux. Uh, I'm excited to have brought uh, my collection of his paintings to Dessau and uh, uh, this is the first tiny taste.